Welcome back, you filthy exiles. All right, today we're gonna to talk about quantity farming or currency farming using quantity. Now, obviously, whether it's in the notes or not, we've all become aware that this league, there has been somewhat of a nerf to the drop rate of currency when you're mapping, but there is a way around this and it's relatively cheap. So what I started to notice, and obviously I spent the exalt that I earned this afternoon and my chaos and buying gear for this build, um, is essentially, uh, <coughs> and trying to six link a second wind ripper, um, it is, it's essentially, um, yeah, there is a way to get around these nerfs that have come into play, and that's through the use of a currency farmer. Now, what's a currency farmer? Well, it goes by the name, other name, which is more commonly known as a quant monkey. And what that is, is where you basically max out a character using a uh, quantity. So in this case, this character has 46% plus another 15%. So it has, what, 61% quantity. Um, now, I don't have a Bisco's um, collar. I do have a Bisco's leash, and rarity increases as monsters die and whatnot. Um, so that account, account is, uh, accounts for our rarity. Now, we could use two Venter's Gambles instead of a Thief's Torment, but Thief's Torment makes us um, really, really sustainable in maps from a mana perspective. Now, <clears throat> the reason why, and, and this is sort of, uh, the concept of a quant monkey is not with a goal to play up to shaper and farm shaper and whatnot, and I think this is what I'll define here, is the purpose of using a quant monkey in the game, and this is more so to help players that don't know what quant farming is, it is basically to farm lower and easier tier maps with essentially no health pool, and uh and max evasion and basically just build shit tons of currency um and that's basically what this build does so just drilling into it a little bit you'll so there's a few key items that you need to get a quant monkey to work now i'm using a dead eye ranger there are other ways that you can do this but the dead eye seems to work really well especially considering we're using a bow build now, I do use Greater Projectile lightning, uh, lightning Arrows. Now, you can use Chain Lightning Arrows, and I'll put a POB up for, for Chain Lightning Arrows as well. Um, <clears throat> and in this build, I'll end up switching to Chain, to be honest with you, because Chain is quite powerful. Um, it's basically like homing, homing arrows. Anyway, the key items that you're going to need to get this build going, e even at the most basic sense, and this will get you up to T5, though this is easily doing T5 maps and whatnot, is first of all, you're going to need a Wind Ripper, and these are about 15 Chaos. Thief's Torment, you can get easily for under 10 Chaos, gives you tons of quant. Actually, this is not a great roll. Well, it is a pretty good roll. Um, the other thing that I use, uh, or that you'll need, is a Sedema's Touch. That's going to give you 10% quant. At a max, it'll give you lower to five, and that, that's about five chaos, up to 10 chaos for a higher roll. Uh, Abisco's Leash, now, as you get Rampage, you're going to get more rarity drop as well, and not only do you get rarity on there, you get 30% rarity for shocking enemies too, which is why we run Lightning Arrow. Um, and then we basically just stack cold because our quant comes in when, when you kill a frozen enemy. Um, and the other thing you're going to want to run is Goldwyn Boots, which give you 17, or in this case 17%, but they give you up to 20% quant as well. And that's basically it. Now, you can do Venter's Gamble Rings, and I'll put a list of all of these items in the description below. Um, and then obviously I'm running Void Charges with a Void Fletch, um, and then my Amulet and my Helm are basically maxing out my resistances. Uh, in this case, and also adding a bit of damage, and I'm using a Hyrie's Eye Zodiac Leather Belt to buff up my cold damage on hit for my bow. Um, the only real, and, and this was 10 Chaos, and then I just 5 linked it, because the one big advantage that you'll find with this build is that in particular when it comes to simply farming um, for, you know, even if it's just jewelers, orbs, and whatnot, and fusings, it's really efficient and it's very fast and you can do it at very low tier maps. Like, you know, we, we have constant tailwind up, you know, as you can see, you have tons of movement speed and whatnot, your mobility. You know, if we just chuck a map in here, let, let's chuck a T5 map, Let, let's just do a quick T5 to show you what, what I mean. 
So I'll just chuck the bottles up. Bam. Okay. As you can see, you know, this is even just with, like, uh, you know, I haven't even done my third ascendancy yet. So, you know, that's going to buff me up significantly. But as you can see, you know, you're getting a, a bronze lith drop straight away as you walk into a map, which wasn't happening previously. Um... And we're not even close, you know, I've only got this up to level 71 and I'm already noticing the benefit of doing this. As you can see, you know, drops become much more common, it's much easier to farm, and if you're flipping currency, this is, and you know, you're farming the currency yourself, this is one spectacular way to build up currency to be able to flip on the market. We get to bossing, we're simply just going to so we're just going to hit it with Barad until it drops. As you can see, map, maps drop more frequently. Now there is, you can get this build, the, the POB that I'm going to provide for this is good, doing up to 2 million damage with Barrage. But as you can see, now you, Jules orbs. Just things are a little easier to sustain, you know, especially if you're trying to six link gear and whatnot. You don't have to put a lot of investment into this build. You can pretty much run it, you know, it, you can make a choice at what level you want to run the build at. But, you know, the, the probabilities of getting, you know, exalts and whatnot are going to go up as the more quant that you run, so, you know, that's going to enhance your ability to make return. Um, or maybe you want to trade uh, alteration orbs. This is one good way to farm alteration orbs. So as you can see, you know, six socket items, they're going to drop more frequently. I've noticed that, you know, in one map, you know, depending on if you chisel your maps or whatnot, you might get like four or five or six or seven of those drop. And leveling this build up is really easy as well. You know, I did this in one afternoon. Um, but yeah. As you can see with the Thief's Torment, it's sustainable. Just going to come to phasing, you have to do that like something, something six percent dodge. There's a rampage popping. So yeah, not a not a bad way. And obviously the, the further you build this build up, uh, the um, the higher the probability that you know you're gonna get better drops doing red tier maps, and you can probably easily get this up to T12 maps um, once you've got all four ascendancies and you've got decent gear and whatnot um yeah anyway i just wanted to flag this build for anyone who is struggling making currency this league um just as an idea that you know i've i've this this league has been good in one respect for me because it's given me time to actually play a whole shitload of other different builds as opposed to focusing on building my one fuck off damage de dealer which i already have you know I, i've got a redemption century build and it's it's perfect for taking down awakener but, um, but yeah, this is a great way to, um, to basically farm currency. Um, anyway, if this gives, I'll provide all the links and the gear that you'll need to get a currency farming Deadeye build up and going. It doesn't take a lot of effort. It's quite easy to balance. Um, they're quite efficient and they scale really well as you level them up. Damage wise, you know, tooltip I've got up to, you know, it's, it's capping 25,000 so far at level 71 and that doing, you know, T5, T6 maps right now is great and it will continue to increase as I level this character up. Anyway, if this video gives you some ideas on how you can improve your currency generation and including getting more alchemy orbs because they've been a real bastard to farm this league, um, then give me a like and a sub. I am going to do a video on some tips to flip currency um, because there's a, a really easy way to do that as well. Um, and just basically that, that'll help you pay for all your gearing and if you're going to run a quant farmer you're going to want to be flipping currency because that's going to get you chaos really quickly and then that's going to get you your exalts very quickly as well. 
Anyway, until next time, like and sub, and uh, bye.